Okay guys, as far as data logging, um, you're going to use the VCM scanner for that. In our email communication, I'm going to send you a channel configuration file and I'm going to send you a dashboard layout. Um, save those uh, to these locations. I'm going to show you. I've opened up VCM scanner here. Um, documents. HP tuners, VCM scanner, and then go to channel configs. This is where you're going to want to save um, the configuration file that I send you. Once you've done that, uh, go ahead and grab the uh, dashboard layout file out of the email, and you're going to save it in the uh, HP tuners, VCM scanner, layouts folder. Uh, once you've done that, uh, you need to open those. Uh, so you're going to go to open channel config from the left side of the screen in the VCM uh, scanner. You're going to select that file. It's going to populate over here what the PIDs we want to log and look at. Same thing with dashboard layout. At the top of the screen, you're going to open that layout that I send. Um, and we, we, we have our dash populated. Uh, and scanner for for what I personally like to see on, on a lot of the stuff we remote to. All right, so with the device connected to the vehicle, um, you've programmed your tune in by this point, and now we're ready to start data logging to, to gather some data to, to make some tune adjustments as needed. Open up VCM scanner. Um, turn the ignition on. You're going to use this... Uh, Connect to vehicle icon, the little blue car. All right, we're now connected to the vehicle. You hit this red button to start scanning and recording. Uh, we're gonna do that. All right. We've got our data displayed on the dashboard to the right side. All of our PID list on the left side over here. Um, so at this point you're going to start and drive the car around typically we like to start with a 10 to 15 minute log um, of just normal driving maybe a couple little short pulls at wide open throttle um, nothing crazy to start with until we kind of see uh, what we're working with on the data uh, we will inch up um, with revisions we will we'll creep up and start making some pulls eventually when we you know, feel confident in the tune-up on the car. At this point, you can start the car. We've got all of our data displayed. When we're done logging, um, you can go ahead and hit the stop button at the top. Shut the car off. We're gonna go to log file. Save log file as. And it will be in your documents, HP tuners, logs and tunes. And you can go to that remote, or I'm using the remote test folder. You can go to your folder where you keep all of your tune file and your data log data. And uh, go ahead and save it in there. disconnect from the vehicle now you're ready you can disconnect from your vehicle you will take that log um, you know, send me an email attach that log to the email that way I have data to review I'll go through I'll review everything I'll make necessary changes to the calibration I will email you a new tune file flash it um, I will you know give you instructions on any kind of specific logging you know criteria I'm looking for uh, you'll go out, drive, get the data log, and we will continue that back and forth until we get this thing dialed in. Uh, it may take three revisions, it may take ten, however many, you know, whatever it takes is, is what it takes. But that's basically the uh, the process of, you know, unboxing HP tuners, installing it on your, uh, your laptop, 
registering the device, setting up your account with HP tuners, purchasing credits, um, reading your calibration file out, and the file exchange process with data logs and tune files between myself and you. Um, that's what it takes uh, to do remote tuning, and hopefully this video will help. Um, it can seem a little overwhelming at first. There's a lot of little steps, but it's all Windows-based stuff. It's not that bad to do. Once you get the program installed and you run through it a few times, it really gets a lot easier and uh, a lot quicker to, uh, to get the job done.